to the next episode of Decans with D. I am Dietmar Ostermann. I'm your host this afternoon, and I'm the regular guy from Long Island. Today we have on the agenda Napa Valley Blends. We did a video on Napa Valley Blends before we tasted the uh, Prisoner Vineyards against some of the competition. We want to do some of the same, but I introduced some new competition. Number one from the legendary Schaefer Vineyards in Napa Valley Blend, the TD9, named after the tractor that his father, Schaefer's father, used to plant and work the vineyard with. Number two, we have the prisoner. And these are, by the way, all 2019 blends. So prisoner from Napa Valley, right there from St. Helena. And then number three, and I'm very excited about this one, the Disciples. Disciples is uh, the new product from the Crane Assembly. And it's also a Napa Valley blend, but it already comes in a different bottle shape. This is more the Shirao Pinot Noir bottle shape. Let's get into the matter and pop these babies open, starting with the Schaefer TD9. The Schaefer typically sells for $65, $66 on Vivino. It is rated 4.4 by the average Vivino rater. Pops right open. Let's see what we see. We have, from an appearance standpoint, a deep, ruby, beautiful looking wine, sparkling in the light here. Excellent. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Pronounced aromas coming out of the glass without swirling the glass around. But let's uh, unlock some of those aromas. Plum and blackberry right in your nose, but also a little bit of uh, secondary and tertiary notes like mocha, licorice, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of leather even. A plethora of aromas, a very complex wine it seems. Let's give it a whirl. Beautifully balanced, medium plus acidity, medium minus to low tannins. It has pronounced fruit aromas, the blackberry, the black crumb, are uh, dominating. I feel a little bit of this licorice in the mouth, but also some of the mocha and vanilla notes come out very well. Overall, beautiful wine. I am very close to where the average Vivino rate is on this. I give the TD9 a 4.5. That brings us to contestant number two. The beautiful, the legend, the prisoner from Napa Valley, right there in St. Helena. Now, the prisoner is a combination of Cabernet, Shira, Zinfandel, Petit Shira, and Charbonneau. Cork pops right out. By the way, the average rating here for the Prisoner 2019 is 4.3. This wine typically sells for $44, $45 on Vivino. The color here, a little bit lighter than at the TD9. I can see the stem at the bottom of the glass, so I would say it's a medium ruby but also beautiful in color, sparkling. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. 
Blackberry overwhelmingly right in your face. A little bit of blueberry notes, plum, and in prison I typically have a little bit of that chocolate note as well and some spice that goes in there. Overall, again, a plethora of different aromas. Let me shake it a little bit more to unlock it. A little bit of vanilla comes out, a little bit of dark sherry. Beautiful all together. Let's give it a whirl. Beautifully balanced. Medium plus acidity, just like the TD9. Almost no tannins. I give it medium minus to low. Uh, it's a full body wine. At least medium plus in the body, if not full. Overall, high alcohol. The um, fruit profile is beautiful. We have the typical cap fruits like blackberry, blueberry. The plum is in here as well. But then you have this beautiful vanilla from the aging process in American oak. I like the prisoner. It ticked better. I give it a 4.6. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are coming to a wine that I never had before. I'm very excited about this. The Crane Assembly, the Disciples. This wine sells for $39.99 and is also rated 4.3 by the average Rivino user. 2019 here as well. Cork pops right out. This one is a combination of Zinfandel, Chabonneau, Grenache, Petit Girard, and it's done on the legendary Crane Vineyard Old Vines. Color-wise, we have again a ruby wine, a little bit in between. I would say the TD9 was the darkest, the deepest, the prisoner a little bit lighter, but medium. This one is also medium ruby in color. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Red cherry, raspberry, so a little bit more red notes, cranberry. But it has some peppery bite that actually is very pleasant. Vanilla, baking spice. Clove, so some secondary and tertiary notes come out. Very, very interesting. Let's give it a whirl. Very well balanced. Acidity medium plus. No tannins, maybe medium minus tannins. A medium plus body wine. Very elegant. The fruit profile on the palate is dominated more by red fruit, raspberry, red cherry, cranberry, but it has a beautiful vanilla from the aging in American oak. Perhaps even some plum and strawberry there, plethora of fruits, but with secondary and tertiary uh, taste profiles added into it. I like the Crane Assembly, the Crane Assembly Disciples the best. I give it a 4.7, ladies and gentlemen. 4.7 for the Crane Assembly and looking at the price, $39.99. It wins my little competition here, but all three were impressive wines. I can certainly recommend you buy them. Right now the Thanksgiving holiday is upon us and all of those would go very well with a turkey meal. But my recommendation right here, Crane Assembly Disciples, $39.99 and my rating 4.7. That's it for today. I see you typically on Sundays every two weeks from now on Sunday at around noon. And please follow me on Vivino, follow me on YouTube, like this video if you liked it, and I see you Sunday.